Hello everyone, uh, this is Foxtech and uh, in this video I'm gonna be talking about USB drives or any external hard drive. So for example, I'm connected with this Samsung T5 SSD and you can see that if I connect it or if I open up the files app, I have it right here. So it's called backups. I can browse through the files and everything. So that's um, that's where I can find it. But the question for today is, how do you eject USB on an iPad? How do you safely remove that? Well, on the iPad, you don't have the same options as on the Mac, for example. You know, on the Mac, when you actually just remove the USB without clicking anything, it gives you the warning that you are supposed to safely remove it. On the iPad, however, you don't have any button to actually eject it. So when you can see when I disconnect it like this, it doesn't give me any warning, it just disappears and it tells me, yeah, it's no longer find findable right here. You cannot really do that. However, when I connect it back, everything appears to be normal again. So a lot of people just disconnect it this way, but in case you really want to simply uh, make sure that you remove it safely, there are some things which you can still do about it. When you actually want to disconnect the drive, uh, hard drive, whether it's USB or SSD, you should not do it during any process. So if you're transferring any files or copying anything, you should not do it in between that. You should wait, of course, after it's finished and then you can remove it. That's, of course, the safer way to do so. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. What you should also do is if you just want to de disable it or like remove it at first, just turn off the files app like this and you can come back to the home screen and disconnect it right now. Now, if there were anything going on inside of the files app where you can see the content of this USB or SSD, then in this case, you can now safely remove it just by unplugging the cable. So of course, uh, make sure that any no uh, make sure that no processes are going on you can also turn off the uh, files app like this close it and disconnect it right now but also another option is of course in case you have some kind of ssd or usb which is equipped with the uh with some kind of led uh, light right here so you can see i'm not sure if you can see it properly this hard drive is equipped with the led light right there so uh, you can see that the blue light is going on but in case it would be blinking if it were blinking indeed, then you should not remove it during that time because it indicates that something is going on, that it's active, something is being copied or synced or whatever. So basically what I want to say is that you should pay attention to the LED light in case you have one on your drive. And in that case, you should make sure that it's not blinking because blinking indeed indicates that some process is still going on. So you should not interrupt it. You should not disrupt the process. Wait for the light to be, to be stable. So for example, you can see the light is solid. It doesn't blink. In this case, I can actually remove the SSD from my iPad safely and nothing's going to be going on and nothing's going to happen to my iPad. But also the safest alternative ever would be to turn off the entire iPad completely. Just literally hold down on the power button, lower volume button, swipe to, to turn it off. And after that, this is going to be the safest way to eject USB to safely remove it from the iPad. But I don't personally think it's necessary. I don't use it that way. I just make sure that the light is not blinking, that I'm not in, in the middle of any process and I just remove it like that. I haven't noticed any problem with that. So I just wanted to explain to you how it works. And these are your options that you have when it comes to your iPad. And right now I'm going to wrap up this video. Hope you found it useful and informative. Make sure to leave a thumbs up under it if you did and also subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later. Peace out until then.